Okay, so a question has been asked that when we do plasma pheresis or plasma exchange in patients of uh, myasthenic crisis or Guillain-Barre syndrome, we give three to five cycles of plasma pheresis to remove the antibodies from the patient. So why is it so that we give three to five cycles of plasma pheresis? So understand that the antibodies which are usually are of IgG in nature, now they are present all over the body. In, in, in which consists of intravascular compartment and also the extravascular compartment, which is the tissues. So 45% of the IgG antibodies are there in the intravascular compartment. And when we, and the remaining 55% is there in the extravascular space, which can be tissues, interstitium, like that. Now, when we do one plasma exchange, means we replace the whole plasma of the patient uh, with the external plasma, or we do 1.5 plasma exchange in which we remove the 1.5 times of the uh, patient plasma in one cycle of uh, plasma pheresis. So in that, approximately 60 to 65 percent of the intravascular uh, antibodies are removed in one cycle of plasma pheresis. So technically, of, of the 45 percent which is present in the intravascular space, 60 to 65 percent of that is removed in one cycle. So, approximately of the total antibodies which are there present in the uh, patient, in one cycle we remove 30 to 35 percent of the total Ig antibodies in the from the patient. And then after the uh, cycle is completed, what happens? Redistribution of antibodies happens and from the extravascular space, from the tissues, they come into the intravascular compartment and then again out of those, it is removed in the second cycle. And the third cycle. So when we complete approximately five cycles of plasma pheresis, approximately somewhere between 90 to 92 percent of the patient's uh, plasma antibodies are removed and replaced by the external plasma with a fresh plasma which doesn't contain the antibodies. So that's the logic of uh, giving three to five cycles of uh, plasma pheresis in a patient who is suffering from Guillain-Barre syndrome or myasthenic crisis like condition. These are as per the uh, American Association of Plasma Pheresis uh, guidelines. You can all, also, there are two, three guidelines you can go through that, but this is the logic behind it. So, hope you like it uh, and do read more about it. Thank you.